Welcome to Tinsley Transfers. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to apply our 3D FX transfers. These were created using the same technology that we developed for film and television makeup artists. All you'll need is water and a pair of scissors. On the back of your package, you'll find five easy to follow steps. We'll be highlighting these instructions in this video, but I'm also gonna be sharing with you some simple tips and tricks to help your application and makeup stand out from the rest. First, carefully cut open the package. Take out the card. Next, peel the plastic off of the adhesive paper. Now, grab the plastic by the corners. Line it up to your paper and gently roll down the plastic so that your appliance is face down on the adhesive paper. Starting from the center, rub outwards towards the edge of the paper. If you have any trapped air, gently work the air bubbles to the edge. Next, you want to cut around each of the pieces that you are going to use, being careful not to cut into the edge of your transfer. Here's a tip. Hold your piece up to the light and take a permanent marker or pencil, making the shape of the wound or scar. This will help you be more precise with the placement of your transfer. Before applying, make sure the skin is clean, free of any dirt, oils, makeup, or hair. When you're ready to apply, peel off the plastic, exposing the sticky backside. When you've decided where to apply the transfer, press it firmly into the skin. Once your transfer is secure, grab your sponge and wet the adhesive paper. It is very important that the paper is fully saturated, so please don't rush. When you're ready to remove the adhesive paper, Go ahead and give it one last good push into the skin, and then slowly peel the paper away. After you peel your paper away, you may find an air bubble or lifted edge. Simply wet your finger and gently press the transfer back into the skin. Continue to add your other pieces. Once you're happy with the application, you can then add makeup or blood to complete the character look. I typically will add blood with a Q-tip. Don't be afraid to get messy with the blood. Often, the sloppier the blood, the more realistic it can look. Using a water-based makeup, I added brown to resemble dirt and painted in some additional bruising. You can use any cream or alcohol activated makeup as well. That's it. All you need is water, scissors, and your imagination.